Good evening. If a new business on Arsenal Street applied for a Watertown sewer permit today, it wouldn't get it. The system has issues, at times overflowing, and the state is making the city come up with a plan to fix it. 7 News reporter Lexi Bruning joins us with what she learned and when the problem first happened. Jeff, it first happened nine months ago. Back in February, a main sewer collection line had too much running through it, and the city ended up dumping wastewater into wetlands. And until the problem is solved, developers can build, but they can't get a sewer permit. It's Jefferson County's most traveled highway, prime real estate. But for developers with projects along Arsenal Street, there's a problem. If they need a sewer permit from us right now, we, we could not issue one. It goes beyond Arsenal Street to also include Washington and Coffeen Streets and the entire town of Watertown. It actually affects all their water districts. It comes after Watertown dumped wastewater into wetlands in February, done so sewage didn't back up into residents' basements on Butterfield Avenue. The state fined Watertown $22,000 and told the city to stop approving any new sewer connections in the the affected areas. When you get a storm event, you have overflows because you've got a lot of storm water adding into your sanitary sewers that, that shouldn't be there. That's the problem, but what's the fix? The city now needs an offset plan. The consent order requires us to match those flows three to one. So for every, every new gallon that flows into the system, we have to make sure we're, we're keeping uh, extra water out of the system uh, three times that. Solutions range from finding leaks to sealing up manholes to prevent infiltration and inflow of stormwater. The holdup could be concerning to developers who are investing in this area, like a new car wash here on Arsenal Street. Told by the city planning department in this email that Watertown is a moratorium on issuing new sewer permits right now. There's also a low-income housing project slated for Commerce Park Drive, and then there's the Thousand Islands Event Center in the town of Watertown. None of these are ready to open now and mix thinks the city will solve the problem before it affects the projects. An engineering team is studying the system and Ken Mix says there is more than $3 million set aside to tackle the problems. Jeff. Lexi Burning, thank you.